Hey everyone, and welcome back to Color Correction and Final Cut Pro. This is part 5 of my series, and today we finally get to roll up our sleeves and start manually color correcting our clips. If you haven't seen the first four parts of the series, I'd recommend watching them first. I'll link them in the description and link the full playlist up top. The first step in color correcting a clip is evaluating and adjusting the exposure and contrast of your clip or its dynamic range. Our eyes are capable of seeing a much greater dynamic range than any camera, so when recording, you try to get as much information into your clip as you can. That's why many cameras have a flat or a low contrast color profile to cram as much color information into it as possible so it can be color graded afterwards. Let's take a look at the first clip in my timeline. I'll bring up my color board by pressing Command 6 and select Exposure and bring up the video scopes by pressing Command 7. To help adjust exposure, I'll select the Luma waveform by pressing the video scopes button, selecting waveform, and Luma. Let's take a quick look at this video scope. To better explain it, I'll place it under my image by selecting vertical layout from the view drop down menu and resizing my windows. The vertical axis in this waveform represents the amount of light in my image, and the horizontal axis represents the horizontal part of the image. On the vertical axis, 0 is complete black and 100 is bright white. Normally, you don't want to go over 100 or below 0 because you will lose all detail in those parts. When you film your clips, if the camera under or overexposes an image, you get a flat line in the waveform and is referred to as scratched blacks or blown out whites. There isn't much you can do to fix that. I have some blown out whites in my clip here, represented by the flat line in my waveform. If I bring down the brightness of my image, I'm still unable to get any detail back in this part. Now over in the exposure tab of my color board, there are four pucks used to adjust your image. The global puck adjusts the overall brightness of your image. The other three pucks are used to adjust shadows, midtones, and highlights. Let's do the shadows first. There are a few black elements in my image, such as the purse strap and the sunglasses in the corner. These are represented in the waveform here and here. These elements should be at or close to zero. I'll click and drag the shadows pack down until the waveforms reach zero. Next, I'll adjust the highlights pack. I have some blown out whites in the background, but I'm more focused on the foreground in my image. I'll drag the highlights pack up slightly to brighten all my whites in my foreground a little. Now, I'll adjust my midtones pack up a little to balance out my image. If I go back to the inspector and toggle my color correction effect on and off, you can see a huge difference adjusting exposure makes in my clip. My next step will be adjusting color in my image to make sure there's no overtones in my clip and all my whites are white. That's coming in my next video. Make sure you hit the subscribe button so you don't miss it. If you enjoy my tutorials, let me know by liking, commenting and sharing. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.